Good day viewers, um, I am Wayford. Welcome to my fifth Fortran tutorial. And in this tutorial I will be dealing on the on a loop. I'll be doing the do loop D O two. So loop is just um it's an iteration in which you you it's a command we use to iterate. So instead of you writing is a bit of code several times you can just use the do loop statement so to just perform the tax asap so let's say you wanna do something there's okay let me show you the syntax for do then do a a is the counter name let's just say this um bubble let me change this to so this is my counter name. It is just a variable name. You can use anything. So I'm using this. So this is this. One is the starting point, then comma, the ending point, comma, the difference. Then you say print asterisk comma. Power. then always make sure you end the do statement so in this program I'm expecting it to just display number one two ten Pooh. you can see that so you should always take note the first digit here is the starting point the second one here is where it's gonna end and then the last one is the difference let's say we want to display 1 to 10 with difference of 2 so you just start from 1 3 5 and then um, 5 7 9 i'm just making a guess i'm not sure whether that, that's the output but i'm very sure that's the output so you can see it 1 3 5 7 9 so you can as well start from two. Maybe you are writing. You are, you are meant to write a a code to display an even number. Then you start with um, two to any number you actually wish you want to write it to. So when you look at this, it's going to start from two to ten. So that's that about this. And uh, again, you can as well. You can as well write a statement here, like print. Instead of you printing Baba, let it print this is way forward for trying to tutorial. So you should print it five times. The difference at 10 times by default the difference is always one so you can as well do it like this so let's see this so i'm expecting this to just display this is before tutorial 10 times you can see that so that's just it even if you have to use one it's still the same thing just this one is just standing for the difference this is the difference this is the ending point this is the starting point so you can also make use the two loop to repeat a particular program say, uh, a lot of time like let's say we want to want to add up numbers like repeated numbers let's say let's put a b c a so we now say read as type comma a and b c is equals to c is equals to a plus b print as type comma c so let's just make this short because i wouldn't like doing it several times let's make it three so now we want to continue to add up two numbers instead of uh, three times. So let's run this now.
so the first number is 2 the second one is 3 that's 5 you can see the cursor is still blinking here so this is the first one then you can also use 6 7 that's it and then this is the third one and then 5 then end of statement so these are the loops we perform the same he's not loops. the prince is in love with me sorry about that that was just a mistake we perform the same trans uh, the same process three times so that is how to use a do loop and then so that's that about loop just know this is the starting point the ending point and then the difference then you can put you can write an instruction here you can use it to perform a whole loads of transactions load load of um, program over and over again depending on what you want to be here and here you can as well determine what is going to be there let's make this D and then read D for my D so when this program runs let me run this now. So the first thing is gonna display is how many times we want the we want to do the summation. Let's do me let me make it two. So it will ask the first number. I didn't make it interactive. I should have used the points line, whatever. So let's make this three and five. It is nine, then seven and three is ten. You can see because we actually said we want to do this one the, the process is two times so that's that about the do loop see you in my next tutorial peace